What's up folks, it's your man Jay, back with another video. So it's the weekend, pulled out the uh, beautiful Velocity Red, sometimes orange, sometimes tangerine, <laughs> whatever it is. Almost 2,000 miles, man, I'm right under 2,000 miles. And um, I wanted to go ahead and do a video for you, let you know real ownership, this is how I like to do it. So um, yeah, 2,000 miles later, dope ride. So nice, man, so nice, man, I mean, this is, just a, a fantastic car, man. I mean, I cannot complain. I don't think there's anything that I don't like about it. So I wanna recap a couple things that I talked about in my other video last time I did a video on the car. It's a plane up above me. So I talked about wheels, suspension, you know, all that good stuff. And, you know, now I'm asking you directly, what do you guys think? Like, this is the profile from the side. This is the side view. What do you guys think about this? Drop it an inch. I've seen some of these with 22s on them. A lot of them with 20s. I just don't want 20s. I would actually prefer to keep them. This is I'm talking modification talk now. I would actually uh, just keep this car with these wheels on it. Because remember, I, told you, I, I picked this car because it had the wheels available that I wanted. Um... And I would just get keep this car and lower it down just a little bit. I know some of you guys say, no, nah, I don't lower it, don't lower it. I've lowered every vehicle, folks, just about. And there's never been an issue with it. It actually rides better lower to the ground, obviously. So um, this is the heart of the matter, the twin turbo 3-liter V6. This car is actually pretty cool, man. I'll be doing some more 0 to 60 times. Again, I wanted to recap a few things. I'll be doing some more 0 to 60 times because the other time I did it, I didn't use the timer in the car. So if you don't know, this car actually has 0 to 60 right in the dash. Uh, it's, in, it's under the V mode. So if you go to the V mode, let me just, let me show you. Let's see here. You go to the V mode and you will see... Hopefully this music doesn't start. Um, you go to the view, V mode, so you press the um, controller right here over. Let me close the hood real quick, because it's gonna it's gonna tell me, hey, you know, you got the hood open. It's pretty dope. Let me close the hood and then I'll show you. Oh, you know what? I can actually, I can just miss it right here. All right, now, so uh, there's a V button here, but you want to scroll over right here to get to the V mode right here. So you want to go to the V mode, and then there's, I was I was messing with it earlier, but this is your 0 to 60. So I've never officially done a 0 to 60 on the car yet. Uh, you can scroll through. This is pretty much just your performance section. So, yeah, this is this is pretty dope right here. So you got your um, limited slip differential. You got your tires, temperature, and everything. When I'm riding, that's blue, and it says cool or, or normal. Uh, and then you got all your other stuff here. Yeah, lap time and everything. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 the V mode in there. So I didn't do that last zero to sixty in in uh, V mode officially. I mean, I had it in V mode. A lot of you guys said put it in track mode and then do your zero to sixty. And I said, I oh, know I was just kind of messing around. I had just passed my fifteen hundred miles on the car, uh, so I passed the break in period, uh, and uh, I wanted to mess around with it just foot break it, but. I know that I can go and I know how to put it in track mode. I, I got a video up how to do launch control on here. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. Uh, but yeah, 1500 miles is gone. Now I'm almost at 2000. I'm at like 1970 or something like that. So again, I think also one thing that's available soon, hopefully, is a tune. So pretty much my idea with this car is to keep it looking as stock as possible. That's called a sleeper for some people that don't know. I want to keep it as stock as possible. I don't want people to see the car and instant. I'm not having all these stickers all over the car. I did that with the Mopars and all that stuff. Not really into that anymore. I want this to maintain this luxury look. But then when somebody rolls up on me, yeah, they'll feel it. Because I'm just aiming to get to about 500 wheel horsepower or more. And if I know these cars are detuned because the the CTS uh, V V Sport those were what 464 had 100 more horsepower, and then the tune out on those those guys are running almost 600 horsepower to the wheels. So this it's it's a lot of people running running the uh, V Sports really hard, but I'm glad I have a CT5 V because I like this body style and everything. It pretty much kind of looks the same, uh, but I, the body lines on here are a little bit different. 
uh, I love the front end and everything, but ultimately I want to be as stock as possible in the look. But when it comes to the performance, when the tune comes out, if you guys are watching this months from now and hey, leave a drop, leave a comment. If I might, I can't catch everything. Leave a comment and say, Jay, that tune is out. It costs 700 bucks. I'll be right on it. So, um, a tune and suspension lowering it down is what I'm, is what I want to do to keep it as stock as possible. I don't have to lower it down. But, you know, cars ride better when they're a lot lower to the ground. It's stiffer ride. And as far as the magnetic ride suspension, a lot of you guys say, oh, I don't lower it, you got magnetic ride suspension. Well, every car I've had pretty much has magnetic ride suspension. So, and I've lowered them and it feels even better. It feels better. So, um, and it doesn't affect the magnetic ride suspension either when you put the springs on there. I always go with a pro kit if I do it. Uh, so, yeah, so this is where I'm at. I've been cruising today. I haven't really seen, I saw a few cars out. I saw a uh, R32. He was just really trying to impress me. He had an exhaust on it. He just couldn't stop. And, and I was I was actually headed to an appointment. So, uh, but I, I could have, once he went by me at full throttle, I was like, yeah, he's probably at full throttle, I can tell. I was like, I'm not gonna waste my time, you know, messing with this guy. I'm not, I'm not gonna waste my time. So but R32s are fast though. I'm not saying R32s are not fast. I'm saying that guy, Mm, another thing he had his like family in the car with him and i was like slow down dude you know you got your family in the car B. you don't want to jeopardize that so i just kind of backed off and so he could get calm you know what i'm saying he was i saw him like three cars back he was I, I thought he was with a camaro uh but he i think he wasn't but he was riding that camaro too is what it was and the camaro turned off and he came up behind me and i looked in i said you know this guy's got his family and you know he should she should chill and i see the sun is hitting it right now and look at how it looks <laughs> this is dope man this is just a dope this is a this vehicle is one of the best i've owned in quite some time now this slant back right here i was looking at the 22 kia stinger gt1 and gt2 man those cars are freaking expensive and then the power they're all they're all wheel drive right this car is supposed to be 4.7 to you know or 4.6 some people have gotten zero to 60 top speed 157 or something like that now the kia stinger has a top speed of 167 and it's all-wheel drive and it has 368 horsepower i forgot the torque but i saw the 2022 stinger and that car is 5.1 to, to 60 and i thought wait a minute this is all all-wheel drive it should be a lot faster you know what i'm saying but hey there's a thing called driver mod it is so 2,000 miles later i'm at about 60 percent on my oil so I'll probably go get a change at about three or 4,000. I'm not gonna wait until um, 10,000. Uh, but um, and I get free oil changes too. So Brimbro's holding up nice. These are not even hot, man. They're, they're cool to the touch. On some of my other cars, I touched the, 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 the caliper, <laughs> scorching hot. And I just parked and pulled over here. So yeah, the sun is, is hitting it really nice, man. The body lines on this car, you will appreciate them if ever you get a chance to see one and at a dealer or pop the hood at a dealer or something like that or someone just lets you get in theirs and check it out or whatever but instantly when people see the car what i notice is they look right here and if they're behind me i've seen people pointing at the 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 v symbol i've seen them pointing right here that's all people care about like when i have my 392 all they cared about was the 392 right there or the when i have my srt8 they all they cared about was the srt8 on the back but the difference with this car, folks, this is a luxury car. This is a luxury sports sedan. When I first heard about this car, I thought, nah, you know, it's a Cadillac. But then when I did more research, obviously it wasn't a CTS V that they used to have. And I thought this might be right up my alley, man, because I'm kind of done with going really, really fast, I guess, or having all that power and always being in muscle car mode with this car. I have the ability to not be in muscle car race mode i guess i want to say i have the ability to not be in race mode anytime i drove my scat pack or my wide body challenger i was always in race mode anybody who got next to me i was ready to run this car i let them roll on by and it's a lot of people that tend to roll up <laughs> at the wrong times but um yeah two thousand miles later uh, about six months later possibly i think almost six months later yeah this is about six months later um depending on when you're watching this uh but man let me see yeah five six months later we in there this is a fantastic car i like uh this part right here like when you're in the car 
this part right here is kind of like joined. It's, it's different. The view that I get, it's a little different right here from inside the car. And it's, it's just a really clean look, man. Clean look. So CT5 owners know what I mean, you know, when, when driving this car. I hate to keep saying that, but it just, it is what it is. It's just a fantastic, fantastic ride. And I know if I decide to go ahead and put a sports suspension on it and drop it down an inch and keep these tires, I'm gonna love it even more because these Michelin Pilot Sports uh, 4S's, they hold their own. They hold their own. They still at 100% tread, but still, you know, I like these wheels on there too. So I even looked at wheels or whatever, and I thought, eh, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna get my money's worth. I'm gonna just burn these tires to the ground for the next two, three years, uh, if I can hold out. But if, I, if a tune comes in, I might need to switch out the tires to some needles on the back, especially if I lower it down. I might need to switch out tires uh, on the back to get more grip. But these Pilot Sport um, 4S's, they're, they're, they're good, man. They, they lock up. They lock up when I need them to lock up. So I'm uh, pretty excited, man. This is a, a feel good, a feel good ride right here, man. I love it. I'm not in love with it because like, it's a material thing but I love that I own this car. The body lines is something that you'll probably hear a lot of people say they own this car. You gotta check it out in person. It's true. You have to check this out in person. Um, it's just one of those things, man. You, you, you see it and you appreciate it more, I guess I'll say. That's what it is. So a lot of people have told me, oh, that, that twin turbo 360 horsepower ain't doing that's, nothing. I'm glad you feel like that. That doesn't bother me at all. I'm not affected by that at all. Some people stay in race mode, like I used to be in race mode all the time. So um, one of the videos back I did, I was talking about, I wanted to have an intake in. And I know the intakes don't you know, produce any power unless I have a tune with it. So these intakes, as you can see, I don't know if you can kind of follow it. It looks like it goes all the way to the front here, right there. You can see the inlet right there, if you can see that. And the inlet over here, it looks like. See this right here? This tubes go all the way to the front. So it's sucking cool air in there at all times, getting you as much as you can. So check it out. So here's the box. In the bottom of the box, follow it right here. Follow it all the way around here. And it goes right in there to the front of the car. And the same thing. So both of these inlets are coming, air sucking right in, going to the front of the car, coming in right in here. Difficult to see, but not impossible. You see there's an inlet right there for cool air. And there's an inlet over here for cool air, going right in there up into the to the uh, intake. So, if I can get an intake, or if someone creates an intake, that's just going to be definitely on this car. Make the car look a heck of a lot better, and it's going to sound different too. It's going to sound different. So, owning the car, man. Uh, again, I'm a real buyer of the car. Some people don't even notice their Cadillac logo up there. I know, I know this one. Um, owning the car. No lease, no rental, nothing like that. It doesn't get turned in. Uh, this isn't a car review. I'm not, again, I'm not a car review. I said that on my video for my truck that I recently released. I'm not a reviewer. I'm not a car reviewer. I'm just a guy who's showing what he has to you. And, and if you have the same thing, let's link up. And let's have a good time, you know, and chat about cars. I'm not a professional driver. I don't know everything about cars. I'm willing to learn from you guys too. So, um, owning this car though, it's dope, man. I mean, it's, it's a fun, fun car to drive it's a fun car to drive i mean it's just and it feels like it demands respect from the front when the leds are on these led strips right here this right here that continues down to here is beast mode man it just looks it, just, it, it makes the car look really aggressive now on the ct5 uh v blackwing those are a little bit wider and you also get different ducts right here in the front and, and, and it just looks even more aggressive but the only thing I'm hoping for in 2021, hopefully before the end of the year, someone gets out there. I saw a site that says they're working on a tune for it, but it just haven't cracked it yet. But if I can get a tune on this thing and I can get the real world horsepower to at least 500, I probably will be really happy, man. I, I know I'll be really happy. Almost 500 to the wheels or 500 to the wheels, almost six to the crank. And and I, I can keep it looking like this. Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna be really I'm gonna be really happy. 
another thing i like about this car is the gas mileage now you would think with a car with such a powerful engine in it uh and it is powerful uh that you wouldn't get too much to get of a gas mileage well same thing like my truck this car drops to four cylinders and i i try to take a picture of it when it comes on but i'm just not ready every time i'm not ready uh but you'll see if you have to be in the fuel section of your car and it'll it says v6 up there and then it changes to v4 and it turns blue uh in the economy section so uh really really nice a long time ago a guy told me that these are chocolate seats actually and that they're not black and obviously he was right i hadn't seen the car in because i bought it in by the time i picked it up it was nighttime and then all the times i've driven it it just looks black but these are really like a dark brown and when the lights hit it uh certain actions it looks really brown uh and it looks really really good man i'm i'm loving the interior i have ac in the seats massage in the front seats really dope i don't know if the back seats have a massager no the back seats don't have a massager it's got a type c back here too uh but yeah really really nice man these are for if you have a child uh but um you got cup holders there but yeah man um i bought the weather mats got the windows tinted that's it so two thousand miles later in almost six months i know some of you guys out there <laughs> said man i could do that in a month well obviously i don't drive the car every day you know that my truck has a lot more miles on it my truck has five thousand miles on it because i drive that daily um, but I do want to tune so hopefully sponsorships are welcome if you know somebody that'll sponsor me give me the tune they can use my car as the test dummy I'm totally with it because I get that uh, get that tune <laughs> any kind of performance upgrades I'm totally open to sponsors totally open to it so uh, I wanted to give you guys another video 2,000 miles is here I'm super excited about the car it's just it's dope man it's it's just one of those things that if you own it you know what I'm talking about. It's a lot of fun to drive. So there it is, man. Update on the Cadillac CT5V. I love it, man. It's, it's a, I can't even, I could go on and on talking about this, but I'm trying to cut this video because <laughs> it's, uh, I tell you what, what it is, is the excitement is still there. And the reason I'm more excited about it is because I don't drive it every day. That's probably why. So I'm going to go for a ride uh, and just cruise. And if I catch something out there, I'll whip out the GoPro and start filming for you guys or whatever. I'm going to go look for some cars and, you know, look for some things that happen. So it's your man, Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.